Hi, right, welcome back. With us right now is a rabbi with a good idea. This is uh, Rabbi Ellie Teitelbaum, who is the co-coordinator of dial a which is a telephone service that allows people who are too busy to attend lectures at schools or synagogues to study the Talmud. Welcome to our program. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, t uh, Rabbi, tell, tell me a little bit about, before we listen in on the service, where the idea came from. Well, there are many, many people who study the Talmud every single day and uh, quite a few pages to finish it all off. Not everybody can learn it on his own. Not everybody could attend a daily lecture. And uh, the best way to get that Talmud to the people who can't come to a daily lecture, I guess, is on the phone. The phone you can call from anywhere. So how do you organize that, Rabbi? Very simple. People hear about us. People call us up. They want to get in on it. And uh, they become subscribers. Well, no, I guess what I meant originally was, how did you originally organize it? Because you have some of the world's greatest rabbis on the phone for you. <laughs> how we organized it? Well, it was very difficult. First of all, we went to many, many lecturers, to rabbis, to educators, and we asked them to give us a copy of uh, their lecture, their particular way that they explain it. After we listened to 50 or 100 of them, we picked out the best. We selected just the best ones. How and, many uh, actually was it? Actually, you figure about 10, 15 people on a rotating basis keep on doing it for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, these people are fantastic. They have a power of explaining something very difficult. If you ever study the Talmud, you know that the Talmud is very difficult. Well, that's the, that's the thing that is a great teacher, particularly on the phone, where you don't see the, yes. all of the, the powers of uh, persuasion and communication that we would see you know, in, right. in, a, in a live classroom or a lecture situation. Uh, the Talmud is a very difficult thing, and you need the best teachers and the finest teachers to explain it. And that's what we have, and the people just love it. All right. Before we tell people a little bit about, if they're interested, how to avail themselves of this, let's listen in. I don't know where we are in the Talmud, and even if I hear it, I probably won't know where we are. It shouldn't make any difference if we are dealing with different rooftops up different heights. Amr lehu Abaya, and on that Abaya answered, Lo Shmiya lehu, didn't you hear? Ho di Amr of Yitzchak bar Avdimi. That which Rav Yitzchak bar Avdimi said, that Omer Haya Reb Meir, he said that Reb Meir used to say that Kol Malkam Mishata Maitzi Shtei Rishuyis. That any time where we find there are there are, there are two different Rishuyis, the Hain Rishus Achas, and they halachically they are considered one Rishus. Kegain Amud Rishus Hayachid. For example, let us assume that there is a pillar which is standing in the middle of a Rishus Hayachid. Let's say in the middle of a courtyard. Kavayat Sarah, which is high ten Tfachim. Barach of Dalid, and it is wide four Tfachim. Also, the kate follow so it is also for a person to put something down there from the Rishus Hayachid and to adjust the shoulder and we, strap. We may, uh, and we may is pick up the phone there, in a moment or two. An this, is, this, is not a, this is not a very slow speaking individual here on the phone. This is, this is a machine gun fire. Well, we don't want anyone to fall asleep on us in the middle. <laughs> we want them to stay awake. Uh, you must have a yeshiva background. If you notice, there's even words that are not translated. Sure. Yeah. Uh, your person can't just join this program unless he studied the Talmud before and he has a high school, uh, he's graduated yeshiva high school. Uh -huh. It's a college level. It's a college level. Now, what do you, what do you get to, other than the satisfaction and the knowledge from learning it, is there any proof that you took this telephone course? Nobody really that's listening wants proof. Uh, it's a mitzvah. It's a great, uh, the, everybody studies every day. Every Jew makes sure that every day he has a daily study schedule. Mm -hmm. And we study the Talmud. Uh, thousands upon thousands of people go every morning at 6 o'clock to the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning, they attend a daily lecture. Mm -hmm. They're able to get in their community. They get in their synagogue. And some people, unfortunately, just can't make it. All right, now let's talk about the practical things involved with dial a What does the service actually consist of? Well, um, the service is simple. Every hour on the hour, you can call in and get that day's page. You see, many years ago, in something like 1928, there was one very, very famous rabbi, Rabbi Meir Shapiro, who said that all Jews, all people, should study the same page of the Talmud every single day. So that if you meet your friend and you want to discuss something with them, oh, we're both studying the same page. We so have that something you can talk to about discuss. It and interpret in different. And so hundreds and thousands of people in all countries, Jews around the world, will study. It's called the Daf Yomi. They will study that same page. And uh, now, not everybody can study it on his own. Not everybody could attend the lecture. There are people that are shut-ins, there are people in hospitals, or there are people that can't make that daily lecture. And if you mm -hmm. miss one lecture, you don't understand what's happening the next day. Let's say you have a wedding, you have a bar mitzvah, and you can't go to the group. It's not like a soap opera, where no you can way. miss for three months and then come back. <laughs> That's okay. right. So go ahead. <laughs> no way. Anyway, people have to phone in every single day. They don't have to listen to our lecture every day. They can go to a regular lecture. When they miss that, 
when they miss their regular lecture, they come back to us and they say, okay, let me see, let me call in today. I can't make it. I have a wedding tonight. I'll call in to dial a daft tonight. Uh -huh. And they get the daily lecture on dial a daft. So how, now, if an individual is watching right now would like to avail themselves of this service, this is not free, although non-profit service is indicated, will you just come and explain how it sure, works? Sure, it's quite simple. I'll give them a telephone number, which they can call up. They can get the information sent to them. All right. We'll give them to see, we'll supply them with the application. And the number to call is 436-4999. If they call that number and they leave their name and address, we send them the application forms. 436-4999. This is not to hear the Talmud no. interpretation for that day. All they can do is get the information sent to them, how to become a subscriber. This is a subscriber service. Mm -hmm. person becomes a subscriber, he pays $6 a month for the service. And $6 a month, I'm sure you realize, is much less than one private no, lesson. Absolutely. It's just, uh, but supp now, suppose the person who's watching on the other end of the line has questions. How do you handle something like well, that? Well, first of all, we try to explain it so well that there shouldn't be any questions. Second of all, he has the opportunity to call back any time he wishes, the next hour and the next hour. So let's say he has a difficult segment that he didn't understand. He looks at his watch, he sees it's 7.20 to 7.25, that he didn't understand. He calls back 8.20 to 8.25 or 9.20 to 9.25 and he gets it over again. If he still doesn't understand it, he can ask his local rabbi. That's to explain it. Now. It's not. You don't really take questions in written form. No, no, we don't bother with it. But if people call us, we'll tell them who the person is giving that particular page. We'll give them his telephone number. They can even call him. Mm -hmm. He'll be glad to help them. But it's, 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 it it's explained so carefully. Who, who, who you have more male or female callers on a service like uh, this? It's, generally, it's mostly male mm -hmm. because it's the men, the boys, older boys and men that study the Talmud. Mm -hmm. The Talmud is a little bit too intricate for girls to go into it and to study it. In general, it's studied most mostly by men in all yeshivas and college levels. Do you think that will, I mean, as, as things are changing, the re relationship between men and, and women and women's roles are expanding, do you think that aspect will change in, in your religion? That's very, very possible, but I don't think it will change as far as our religion is concerned because there's so much for a woman to study that she has to know that she's first got to finish that. And I don't oh, know so how the, that would take the, a long time. The women time. are just as, I don't know that much about this specifically, right. the women are just as busy studying as the men, sure. but they're studying What they have to know. They're studying different things. A woman things. has so many things that she has to know for herself, for all the laws regarding women. So she's always busy studying so many things that it's difficult for her to How long on. has this service been in place? We started last year, November, when the, seventh, when the cycle started. Mm -hmm. It's a seven year, seven and a half year cycle. We started in November, and we were expecting only two, three hundred people to join. And what happened when we were avalanche with so many people who want to become members that we had to put in more lines and expand our service here. And now uh, we had to expand the service into different states. Well, again, it is dial a doff. And just one more time, give the phone number to call for more information on 436 4999. That's a 212 area code. That's right. 436 4999. Rabbi Teitelbaum, thank you very much for my being pleasure. with us on today's program. We'll be back right after this. Okay.